Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Before I get into my foundation routine, I wanna quickly just get personal with you and tell you my story on my reactive skin and how I got here. Um, I wanna say it's, it was two years ago. Anyways, I ended up trying this new product and it had salicylic acid in it. it seems like I had built a uh, intolerance to it because I completely broke out on my face and I got like a whole bunch of bumps everywhere. Um, salicylic acid is supposed to help unclog your pores and exfoliate your skin and what it did for me was a complete boomerang effect. After that it's been it's been a quest to fix what happened and I think from that situation on my skin barrier was affected and it was mostly on my cheek area and then I started getting in more into more natural makeup and then not knowing that certain coconut derivatives and makeups were like breaking me out I feel like there's a lot of things within your wellness within your metabolization of foods and then there came some certain food intolerances also that when applied on the skin will have that backlash if you feel me you know share your story with me below um i've talked a lot about my wellness journey on instagram so if you want to catch up and read my posts how i've been like detoxing and things like that for my skin and my well-being you can check me out there. So this is like the first step I do. I still have light, damp skin and I go ahead and apply the Hyaluronic C Serum by Osea. A hyaluronic acid serum helps boost hydration in the skin and it also holds a ton of weight in water so it creates like this skin barrier on your skin for everything else to draw in moisture. Just put it on. And it feels like this watery slime on your skin and it absorbs nicely. All right, so after that, I am going in for my moisturization and any sunblock for the day. So I use the Josh Rosebrook Nutrient Day Cream with SPF 30. About three pumps of that for your face. Find it really good for hydrating the skin and balancing it out and you get like a antioxidant boost for the day plus you get your sun protection okay so now i am getting to the protective part because when i put on my foundation and then any other makeup over that that's when my skin tends to be more reactive is during the daytime and when i'm applying um makeup a lot of foundations especially the natural ones that contain a lot of coconut derivatives and I find that my skin does not cooperate with that it actually breaks me out you know gives me dermatitis so it just depends what kind of coconut or how the formulation is that it works for me or it doesn't but one that I found to be good that I've been using for like almost a year and then I stick to because it's been working is the 100% pure healthy skin foundation and this foundation has vitamins antioxidants and uh, more sunscreen and then one product that I've loved for the past couple of months that this has been like a game changer for my skin and in reacting and healing is the May Lindstrom it's such beautiful packaging. It's the May Lindstrom's Blue Cocoon. It It is gorgeous in there. It's like an ocean. A lot of medicinal um, benefits too and calming. It has blue tansine that's known to help ease anxiety and stuff like that throughout the day. And I think it's awesome. Like for the skin, if you have a pimple or something, you apply it on there and it helps just calm it down. What I do is because the 100% Healthy Skin Foundation is has kind of like a matte finish. I used to use their primer that was matte, but then my face was just too matte, so I figured I like just to use this foundation without a primer, but then I'll show you what I do after. So what I'm going to do is I'll take about, for my face, I'm taking about two pumps of that. I'm going to dig in the blue cocoon. 
try to take about half a pea size of that and I mixed the two of them together and I find this keeps my skin looking very um, hydrated and glowy so I just go like that and I just blend it completely avoided brushes for a while especially ones that you're kind of buffing the skin that can create micro exfoliation and kind of just irritate skin so if I must use a brush I'll use like a padding brush I'll, I'll use a beauty blender tool and I'll use my fingers I find that I like to use my fingers for this foundation so I will just apply it and then I'll go over it with my beauty blender it feels like a like a BB cream almost it just but it still gives like a good coverage and I'm just applying it my, under my eye also I'm going all over with this and you can see then I go down to my neck just make sure that it matches So I'm not saying I'm going to avoid brushes completely altogether, but I feel like there's times where you're more sensitive than others. If you listen to your skin, you kind of know. Okay, so now I'm going over. I'm trying to talk and do my makeup at the same time. It's been a while. Um, I find anything else that I've tried to put over it, my skin stays kind of at that calm, calmness. I haven't had many reactions. So this has minimized a lot of um, reactive episodes, I guess you can say on the skin. And there, that's my foundation routine. I use a powder to set my makeup in certain, my T-zone area or my eyelids, um, stuff like that. So I use the 14E Cosmetics um, powder. This is a Ilo Nourish and Prime powder. So you can actually prime your face before this or, you know, dust it off, set it after. And it looks like this. This airbrush, Wayne Goss brush. And I just, ooh, creating a dusty desert here. So I just go in and start setting Kind of blurs everything out which I like and it calms the skin really like this powder so, as you saw in my routine I didn't use any mists or toners or anything like that because I feel like that hydrating serum kind of um, balance things out for me but during times I do use the Josh Rosebrook hydrating accelerator I kind of stopped using this mist in general because my skin started reacting to it it could have been because of the essential oils because of like my allergies and sensitivities so I just kind of wait to apply everything that's protective and then I'll go in and then I'll apply this it gives me a nice glow and then maybe five hours from now just to keep my skin calm. I feel like I need some blush. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and I'll catch you next time.